Hello, my gorgeous Libras. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a you versus them reading. So it's basically a love and separation reading on my channel. Uh, we're assuming there's been some kind of a rift or, you know, something not 100% between you and your person. We're going to take a look at their feelings first. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have a lot of Libra in your chart, people. Uh, please show me angels. What's happening for Libra and their person? Let's look at your person's feelings first. Oh, Libras, I love you. Uh, in Vedic astrology, I'm Libra rising. Uh, in Western, I'm Scorpio rising. So <laughs> go figure. Okay, well, this person is working hard on something at the moment. They're working hard. Huh. They think you're over them. Who are you dealing with, Libra? Uh, four of Pentacles, uh, excuse me, eight of Pentacles. I want to say four because there's four of swords. They think you're over them, but Bill. It's causing them worry. Uh, let me clarify this card. Uh, tell me, please, more angels about the eight of Pentacles. They're working hard on a comeback, actually. You think that the, you think this person, um, is over it too. You both think you're over each other and you think this person's priority is their work or their creative life or their studies. You think this person um, is kind of over you because they have other things, better things to do. Yeah, see, four of cups. I knew this would come up. Four of cups. So many fours. Rejection. I was just saying, you think they're over it. It says over it here. You each think you're over it. Let's see what happened here, please, angels. And who are we dealing with? You each think uh, that you're over it. Yeah, there was some kind of a move here that was not so great. Someone was burdened by the situation. Someone unburdened themselves of this connection, quite possibly. Uh, it could have been one of those, like, it could have been a breakup of, for some of you, it could be, like, a quiet time, but it's uh, something to do with moving on. Someone wanted to move on from something that they felt was uh, holding them back, and, and that's probably why you think this person is priori prioritizing their career over you or their studies. Could have been someone broke up with you, boo-boo, because they moved to, another location because they're starting a new course of study or they started a new job or something like that and they were like I cannot be burdened with this I'm going to move on this is all about like someone's prospects someone's someone's career someone's dream someone's hard work kind of thing they felt burdened they weren't ready for a connection a relationship you know it could be bimbo himbo from tinder anyone in between could be your wife husband of 20 years anyone in between but this person felt like whatever was happening here it was a burden to them And now that they got what they wanted, boo-boo, this is what I'm getting. Now that they got what they wanted, they don't want it. It's not as fun as it looked. It's not as, it's not as fulfilling as it looked. This isn't what they really wanted. That's what they thought they wanted. So you got the King of Cups here as uh, your person's true self. So this could be a uh, Libra, boo-boo. You could be dealing with uh, a water sign or you could be dealing with someone who's just, you know, very into their feels, very emotional. Could be someone quite intuitive. You could be dealing with someone who's a bit of a party animal or a little bit egotistical and self-absorbed. So, you know, all of these qualities kind of apply. Boo-boo. I may scoop you represented definitely here all, all of us water signs we can be all of those things i'm you know very passionate and very deep and loving but because i'm so loving and i have so many feels libra um you know sometimes i i can come across as very self-absorbed and you know feeling sorry for myself and all that kind of thing so it, it could be any one of those things all of those things together this person thought uh, they had, there were more, boo boo, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't want to, you know, say something that's going to trigger someone, so just, you know, we're going to have a little bit of harsh truth here about this person, and then you can decide what you want to do about them. Also, let me know in the comments below if this is resonating for you, boo boo, but this king of cups, king, queen, anyone in between, right? They thought there were other fish in the sea. They didn't want to be burdened with like, you know, a connection. Maybe, you know, some of you were in a, an official connection and they didn't want to be in it anymore. For some of you, could have been Bimbo Himbo from Tinder and you met them and this person was suddenly was like, well, I don't actually want a relationship, whatever. I don't want to be bogged down by another person. They wanted their freedom. There's so many fish in the sea, Bimbo. So many fish in the sea, so many things to do, so much fun to have. And now that they got what they wanted, they don't want it. It's not as fun as it looked, boo-boo. It, it's not as fun as it seemed. 
It's a lonely place. All they, th all they think about now is how to get back into your life, into your good graces. They, this person thinks, okay, for some of you, Libra, Libra, boo, boo for some of you, this person has already messaged you in separation. They messaged you some time ago, maybe four days, four hours ago, four weeks, and or three weeks, and they were like, hey, can we talk or something like that? They try to call you. You either block them or they sent you a message and you never responded. So take it as it resonates, boo boo. They think you're they think they think you turned off their feelings towards them. And they know they caused you a lot of worry at the time when uh, this breakup happened. This person knows they caused you a lot of worry. Two of Cups, they want to go back together with you because they realized in the separation that you're actually soulmates. But is it, you know, is it too late? And it's very interesting because there's a duality here for your person. So uh, what you can expect from them is the devil. So this is like, you know, this uh, Two of Cups is related to uh, the major arcana of the lovers and the lovers uh, and the devil are mirror images of each other in my mind anyway. So the devil is the dark side of the soulmate card, of the marriage card, the, you know, everything. So I feel like what this person is coming back in with is, um, towards you is definitely someone who can't let you go now. Someone who lets you go because they thought, I'm going to be honest, Libra, this is what I'm saying, so don't shoot the messenger up a bit. But I feel like this person thought that you were a burden. Not you personally, but like any person in their life. Like they just wanted to let go of any burdens. And now they feel like you're their soulmate and they can't let it go. The devil is someone who can't let something go. It's the card of obsession. It's the card of stalking. Boo boo. If any of you Libras, because I know you're very sexy and attractive and everyone's into you, let's face it, that's just the Libra way, right? Boo -boo. If you feel like this person from the past is taking it too far and you're over it, protect yourself because this is someone who's going to be, this is someone who is obsessed with um, rehashing the past, uh, going back to how things were. This is someone who, who, one who can't let it go because they themselves have become a prisoner of their own feelings towards you. Uh, because, and this is their karma. Boo -boo. This is their spiritual journey. This is someone who thought they could quote unquote do better, someone who wanted to be free sample all of life's different uh, flavors and they realize that they don't want any flavors other than you because you're their soulmate that was their lesson but they really hurt you when they left you and now they're obsessing over you like crazy this person this person has nightmares about this they're not dreams they're nightmares and it's not because you're not like the nightmare but it's just because libra this is their guilt you know someone who can't let go of the guilt let me get a clarifying card here for you Please show me Angel's clarification regarding the devil, but definitely expect this person to come back into your life in some way, shape, or form. I do feel like they're crafting, you know, whatever uh, the comeback, especially if they already tried to talk and you didn't respond, they're cra they're thinking like real deep about how to approach this. Anytime between now and August, this person will make themselves known to you. This is, uh, also remember Libra, this is a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, it was meant for you, boo boo. But I am recording in June 2022. So between now and August, um, this person will be coming back in. Yeah. Uh, and the chariot. You got the devil in the chariot. So this is someone who's making a move, coming at you, towards you. Particularly for, for those of you who this person had a relocation situation uh, and there is physical distance, this person will be coming at you like nobody's business. Like they're getting a ticket, they're flying towards you, whatever it is. Be bail. Uh, they want to conquer you. They, they want to win this because they're obsessed with it. Let's see what the best thing. Oh my God, look, Libra. The devil at the bottom of the clarification deck. That's like double devil. This person won't let it go. I'm starting to get worried about you, boo-boo. Because it's like, you know, because I feel like this person had a chance with you and they really effed it up. And now it's like, I mean, I don't know, boo-boo. Let's see what you're up. Okay, yeah, king of swords. Yeah, you are over it. You're like... I know my value. I know who I am. Big Libra vibes in the King of Swords, boo boo. Big Libra vibes here. This is Libra. This is you. You're like no, like you're you're cutting your. You've cut yourself off emotionally from that person quite uh, possibly by now. Let me just tell you one thing, Libra. If you're wondering about this person. And you're like, maybe you've been having dreams or thoughts about them recently. It's because they're obsessing about you and they're getting their karma. They've had this realization now that they made a mistake. Uh, that doesn't mean you need to take them back when they come at you. Also strong um, cancer vibe. So it could be cancer season. This person is coming in. Uh, please show me angels what the advice is for my Libra. 
Yeah, Page of Swords. Interesting, interesting. Find out more information. Aquarius got a similar reading. Very interesting. Page of Swords. Find out more about this person and their apology and intentions and everything. You need more information before you make any moves when they come back into your life. Um, I do see other opportunities here for you. Some, uh, some of you have already moved on. Let's see. For Libra, please. Yeah, some of you have already moved on. Interesting, the moon. Uh, some of you are just enjoying this time, uh, this this summertime. If you're in the northern hemisphere, you're really enjoying your time in the summer, and it's okay. Let let loose. This is the goddess card appearing in your reading too. The goddess is here. Um, you know, the uh, it doesn't matter your gender. If you're within gender boundaries or not, without, within, you know, anything in between, uh, boo boo. But the goddess is here to reaffirm uh, that you're beautiful, you're sensual, uh, and you know, maybe a lot. Uh, if you're doing spell work or you're witchy in any kind of way you know this is the time to do uh, work with the moon I feel like you're very very attractive to a lot of people right now I read the moon as cancer too I get I'm getting a lot of cancer energy even though it's not traditionally necessarily associated with cancer uh, I always read the moon as cancer uh, so I, I'm getting a lot of cancer uh, vibes here too, water vibes. You're just attracting a lot of things, like good things in your life. I feel like you're attracting attention, sensuality. If you want to, you know, explore your body right now, explore your love, explore your affection, have a lot of different, you know, uh, do a casting when it comes to new friends and friends and lovers and stuff like that. This is a per the perfect time for it. This person is coming in. They. You know, this person is obsessed. Like this Eight of Pentacles and the Devil, also very strong Capricorn energy here. So, you know, Capricorn is the card of obsession. So this, and also almost like this, like, um, attention to detail kind of obsession. So this person is thinking about you 24 seven, thinking about what they're gonna say. This, this is like that vibe of um, writing uh, a message and then deleting it, writing, deleting, uh, editing, things like that. This person won't let it go. And it's obviously, it's all up to you. It's all about free will. But just uh, just to let you know, Libra, this person is coming at you. You will need more information, though. You know, when they come in, if you want to even entertain them, you should definitely question them uh, a bit more deeply. Don't take things at face value. Um, but their intentions are good in the sense that they've gone through a transformation and they've learned their lessons. Uh, lesson, boo -boo. Uh, This is what I have for you today, Libra. Don't forget to comment below with your story. Uh, also, subscribe, hit that notification button, and and uh, like the video to help me out. If you vibe with my uh, readings and you want to support Blue Angel Love Tarot, that is the best way to do it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Libra, I'll see you next time. And may the angels protect you.